Descriptive geometry is a mathematical and graphical method used to describe and analyze the spatial relationships between objects. It involves creating 2D representations of 3D objects and studying the interactions between them. The goal of descriptive geometry is to understand how objects are related in space and how they can be represented on a two-dimensional plane. Descriptive geometry is used in a variety of fields, including engineering, architecture, design, and computer graphics. In engineering and architecture, it is used to plan and design buildings and structures, including the placement of windows, doors, and other features. In design, it is used to create prototypes of products and to visualize their interactions with other objects. In computer graphics, descriptive geometry is used to create 3D models and animations and to render images of objects from different viewpoints. The basic principles of descriptive geometry include the use of projections, which are used to represent the relationships between objects on a two-dimensional plane. There are several types of projections, including parallel projections, where lines of sight are parallel, and perspective projections, where lines of sight converge at a single point. Descriptive geometry also involves the use of axonometric and isometric projections, which are used to represent objects in 3D space. In axonometric projections, the angles between the axes of the object and the plane of projection are preserved, while in isometric projections, the angles are equal and the ratios of lengths are preserved. Another important aspect of descriptive geometry is the use of cross-sections, which are used to study the internal structure of objects. Cross-sections are created by slicing through objects and creating 2D representations of the interior structure. This can be used to analyze the relationships between different parts of the object and to understand how they interact with one another. Finally, descriptive geometry involves the use of plans, elevations and sections, which are used to represent objects in 2D. Plans are used to represent objects from above, elevations are used to represent objects from the side, and sections are used to represent objects from inside. These representations can be used to analyze the relationships between objects and to understand how they can be constructed and assembled. In conclusion, descriptive geometry is a powerful tool for understanding the spatial relationships between objects and for representing and analyzing objects in 2D and 3D. Whether you are an engineer, architect, designer, or computer graphics artist, having a strong understanding of descriptive geometry is essential for success in your field.